Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eaves. It's a real pleasure to be here today with Kester Mann from CCS Insight. Delighted to speak to you today. Um, and one of the things I wanted to focus on was 5G development. Obviously a massive focus on this, on actualization this year. And what's your perspective on where we are in the UK? Well, I think the UK is actually at the forefront of 5G. If you cast our mind back to the development of 4G back in 2012, around that sort of time, the UK was actually the 53rd nation in the world to launch commercial 4G services. So now to see the UK up front as, as one of the, the pioneer markets is, is really, really very encouraging for, for the sector. So we're now in a situation in the UK where we've got um, all four of the mobile network operators with commercial live services. Um, that's a feat possibly unprecedented, maybe outside the yes. US. Um, so it's so really, really encouraging and um, positive times, I think, for the UK market. Couldn't agree more. And talking about kind of expectations ahead, both from a UK perspective, but also a European one. Where do you see this going over the next 18, 24 months in terms of development? Yeah, so I think we're seeing networks being rolled out. Um, I think initially the focus is largely on dense urban areas and cities and so on, as perhaps you might have imagined. But I think the focus for 2020 and 21 will be towards broadening that, uh, that reach for 5G services. So coverage expanding beyond the major towns and cities to, to, to greater populations. Yes. And I think parallel with that for um, uh, there to be greater penetration of more affordable smartphones as well, which obviously is going to be really, really key to, to driving updates. So, yeah, yeah, plenty of development, I think, in the next couple absolutely. of years. Absolutely. Incremental stages, isn't it, I think, absolutely. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And coverage and consistency. Couldn't, couldn't agree more absolutely. strongly. Um, and just thinking about the industry in general, um, what's your view on keeping the industry open? and the importance of that at this state of time? I, th I think the most positive uh, aspect for the industry is, is to have a, um, a broad range of suppliers and, yes. and, and an open uh, um, opportunity. And I think that there's a lot of uh, technologies out there, not just on the mobile and cellular side, but in cloud racing fixed and Wi-Fi and other solutions mm -hmm. as well. And I think it's all part of this big connectivity picture, which I yes. think is the most important thing to consumers because ultimately they don't care what the technology is, they just want to be connected. And I think that's the, that's the key for the industry, really. I think that's a very good point, actually, that around the consumer expectation and making Dead things uses. seamless. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think we've just got to bring that centre stage. And I love your point about you know collaboration and looking ahead with this positive trajectory. So thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure to talk to you and enjoy the rest of the event here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. For thank you. Me. My pleasure. Thank you.